Hey, YouTubers, new on else coins. I'm going to play a game. Today's game will be Guess the Grade. I'm going to show you three Morgan dollars. Um, and guess what? You get to guess the grade. I have the, get, the grades uh, covered up. I'm going to explain each one of them. And we'll go from there. Where's my little trusty corner at? I have to bear with me. I'm gonna to have to have something to point with. So, first up is a 1897 Morgan dollar. It's in one of the old soapbox annex holders. Uh, a lot of times these things are toned. Uh, most of the time. So there is some toning on this coin. Uh, the cheek is not that bad. There's a little something going on right there. As far as bag marks are concerned, there's a little bit going on down through here. There's bag marks. That is a bag mark. It's not too bad. It's not dented. It's just like a little scar. As uh, far as the coin itself, it's a pretty nice coin. 1897, Philadelphia. The strike is really, really good. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. Uh, you can see all the hair detail here. So the strikes were very well. Didn't see any varieties. I mean, this coin is a variety, but I didn't see any major varieties uh, on this coin. Now the reverse is very beautiful. Uh, not hardly any bag marks on the back. A little bit here. One there. You got to look through the toning of these things. Some very be beautiful blues and greens and some blues as far as the back. So the back is perfect nearly. The front ain't that bad. As far as the grade. You have any idea what the grade is? All right, take your guess. This coin is MS sixty three. Hmm. Do I think it's a sixty three? No, I think it's a sixty four. The reason I'm saying this is back when they did this, this holder's probably 20 years old or more. Uh, the grading standards were more strict back then. Uh, in my eyes, this coin is a 64 all day long. I have some other Morgans I'm going to send off. I may break these out. Uh, two of them out and have them regraded. That coin there is a 64 all day long. All right, next up. Same type of holder. This is a 1887, 10 years older than the previous one. Toning, just like the previous Big patch of blue on the left side there. As far as the fields are concerned, there is some marks on her face to be expected, but the fields in front of her face is a little bit right there. Got a little dent in her nose. The fields on this coin is 
There's a little bit right there. And like I said on her face, that's a high spot. So there's a high spot. Her eyebrow is a high spot. And right here is a high spot above her ear. As far as the coin is concerned, got a little bit of a weak strike right there. And there we go again. The back of this thing is spotless. And as soon as I say spotless, something's going on right here. But if you turn the coin this way, you don't see it. You turn it that way, you see it. So there's some bag marks right there. Everything else is clean. One little spot there. I have checked this coin for varieties. This year there's several different ones that makes value. Uh, seven over six is not there. The alligator eye where the eyes doubled, it's not there. So this is just a good example. On the cheek again, nose, a little dent there on her chin. All right, the moment you've been waiting for. What do you think the grade is? Sixty three again. <clears throat> this coin is absolutely beautiful. cartwheel effect you can see it going around and around with the blues and the greens looks like you got a fingerprint in the toning right there that don't hurt it at all this coin in my eyes is a 64 all day long maybe better I think it's better than this one Oh yeah, it's better. But they're probably 64s. I'm going to send them off. Crack them out. Alright, next coin up is a 1881 S. Very common date. It is in a different holder. It's in a SEGS holder. At S-E-G-S -S, SEGS holder and I think it's probably the best coin I ever showed on here even though the face of this thing is scratched up this coin here is absolutely gorgeous got one one spot I'm gonna hold it like that it's got one spot right here as far as bag marks a little light chatter here nothing here on the back I wish this coin see how this coin is all kind of fogged up some of that's going on right here wish you could see this one in person but that right there's on the holder there's a couple places it's on the holder But these are, are uh, kind of common date. No, it is a common date. And they're known to be in good in a uh, good grades on these. All right, you see that by the eagle's wing? That is on the holder. And that is on the holder. You can see the shadow of it underneath. Same thing over here. You can see the double, that's a shadow. It's like a, a dent 
and there's a little scratch there but that's not on the coin real nice coin almost proof like I mean it's close there's a reason for that and I'll get to that in a minute one little well, I would say that's rounding but it's not San Francisco Mint all right can you guess the grade on this one all right the moment we've all been waiting for ms67 it's a long ways from them 63s Do I think it's a 67? Probably not. I'm thinking it might be a 67. The reason I say that this company is not at the level of NGC or PCGS. Good company. Um, if I was to sell this in a retail setting or to another dealer, he wouldn't want to give me that price for this grade be because of the grading company. If this was in a PCGS or NG holder, I wouldn't have no trouble at all selling the thing. Now, did I give 67 grade prices for this? No, I did not pay 67 price for this coin. I actually got it at 66 grade, which that's what I think it is. And uh, let's see what that is retail real quick. Because, you know, I didn't really look it up uh, retail. I looked it up in the gray sheet. Uh, all right, retail. MS67. Is nine hundred and sixty dollars. Nine hundred and sixty dollars. And sixty six retail with what I gave for it, but Grace, I didn't give retail. I gave Grace sheet. Grace sheet. Uh, prices $338 there is a big big jump between 66 and 67 this is one of those coins you just gotta see and see it in person It's uh, absolutely amazing. Some major cartwheeling going on there. These other coins in 63, they're in the $100 range each uh and 64 you know what i don't even know what 64 is i think 63 let's look it up bear with me guys all right 87 plain and 64 yeah like i said uh 63 is 90 dollars 64 is 120 dollars uh, the 97 plane uh, and 63 is 128 dollars versus 150 in 64 grade I believe 100% that these are 64s in today's standards so I will be like I said I'll be taking these out and there is people that collect the this holder 
I got pain on me from work today. Um, they collect the holders, you know, uh, that's all they buy. So there is some value in these hold in these holders, but I'm not too concerned with that at all. So that will be broke out. Now this coin right here, I got to check with NGC and to see if they do crossover from segs or not. If they don't, this coin will be broken out and sent in with the others I have. Uh, if they do a crossover, I will send it in in this holder and then they will break it out if they think it's worthy of this grade in their holder. If not, they'll leave it in this holder like it is. Anyway, just want to share those with you. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time.